Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which your minds are gonna be positively blown away to smithereens by just one simple tweak to the way that you think about minor scales on the guitar. And let me ask you this, when you have to play a minor scale on the guitar, not a minor pentatonic scale, mind you, okay, I'm not talking about pentatonics, I'm talking about a minor scale. What's your go-to? What's the first thing you see when you have to play a minor scale? Okay, where are your headquarters? Let's say we are in E minor and uh, we have to solo over E minor D and C. Okay, pretty simple, right? Then, first of all, most players would go for the pentatonic scale. But if you really want to bring out the minor atmosphere, you would solo over E minor instead of E minor pentatonic. And most guitar players would go to one of two positions, okay? Most guitar players would go either to where the pentatonic root position is and they would play the minor scale over there. Something like that. But this is still the very basic guitar sound. This is the guitar sound that we expect. And as soloists, we want to surprise the listener. I'm gonna explain exactly why this is such a predictable sound in a second, and you're gonna see it for yourself. But let's talk about the second most common position. Okay? If uh, we take the E minor chord in an A minor shape, we have it on seven, right? then this is also a very common pentatonic position. Right? And we can build the minor scale right around it. And basically, both of these positions, the root pentatonic position and the uh, position where the A minor shape is, they produce the same sound. They produce exactly the same sound. Um, they enable you to do different things with your fingers and different musical melodies, but they produce the same sound. I want to show you another option that brings out the colors inside the scale. This is still E minor, but it's very angular, it's very unexpected, okay? This is not what you expect when you think about a guitar solo. This is not your common minor sound. Because I'm bringing out the 6th, the 9th, the 11th, okay? I'm bringing out the non chord sounds, okay? Whenever we play the pentatonic or the pentatonic box position. We're constantly playing around the chord, around the chord itself. Okay, even if we escape from it, it's still playing the chord. We're still emphasizing the chord itself. While, if we play what I'm gonna show you right now, which is a lot easier than it might look, 
We're bringing out the extensions, the full color, the full potential of the minor scale. Okay? We're painting around the scale instead of painting around the chord. And this is actually very, very, very simple. It's the Dorian shape. I already made a lesson a couple of months ago on how to play all modes, all seven modes using one shape. And that's the Dorian shape. The Dorian shape is one of the best scale shapes that you can use on the guitar because it's convenient and that enables you to really express yourself better without memorizing a ton of finger positions. So um, for E minor, we will be playing the A Dorian scale. Why? Because the Dorian scale is the second mode of the major key. Okay? So E minor is the same as G major. Okay? That's the theoretical explanation. Because E minor and G major are basically the same uh, scale note-wise. Okay? They have the same, the absolute same notes in the scale. It's like A minor and C. So E minor and G are the same the exact same uh, scale. You can play E minor pentatonic over G major and it would work. It would be G major pentatonic. So, G major, the second note in G major is A. So, the second mode of G major would be a Dorian. And that's why we're playing a Dorian. Okay, so um, it's actually very, very simple. It's eight, seven, and five on the first and second strings. It's seven, five, and four on strings three and four. And then you can do the same, um, the same fingering two frets down on the next, uh, on the next strings, on strings five and Six. Okay, so you can do five, three, and two. Or you can complete the the scale, okay, right in that position uh, with seven and five on the fifth string and on the sixth string you have what you have on the first string because both of them are E, so you have eight, seven, and five as well. Okay, but I love to use the same fingering, exactly the same fingering. Okay, it's exactly the same fingering. So when you use that over E minor, you bring out the real color of the minor scale instead of just painting the chord over and over again. I was painting around the ninth. I was painting around the, the seventh. Okay, so. Now, you may know this trick already in a different iteration, okay? Um, if uh, you play the E pentatonic, okay, the E pentatonic scale over minor or blues, you might uh, have heard that you can also play A pentatonic 
And this is why this works so well. You can also play a pentatonic because you're actually playing different notes inside the same scale. So this is why this works, because you have a pentatonic in there. But this is not a pentatonic right now, it's E minor. can really um, you can really work your way around the scale and uh, com complicate it as much as you like and it's gonna be beautiful and people are gonna ask themselves why is this a mode but it's not a mode it's the minor scale you're just painting with all the colors instead of just the one three and the five okay in which um, <laughs> When you play around these uh, positions, okay, the A minor position and the E minor position, um, you always want to resolve into the chord notes. While when you're playing the Dorian shape of the minor key, your, um, your mind is free and your fingers are free to play whatever they want. Okay, it's all psychological. Um, but it makes a huge difference. So, before you go, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and go to lickandriff.com where a free three-hour guitar workshop awaits you, my beloved Lick and Riffers, as a gift from me to you. So go to lickandriff.com right now and uh, take my free guitar workshop to take your guitar creativity to the next level. And uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.